Your vessel shall be subject to Hello and welcome back to Android 100 Mega City Edition as our second Mega City is uh, taking shape Manolar and yeah while well, the economy is stable at the moment world politics are a bit in the background hopefully we can focus entirely on building and building I would like to do starting ahead right away with some more mass up upgrading of my Obreros here to the artistas and as we can see quite a colorful people those guys are as the town of Manolo is growing. By the way, we are down on bricks again. We do produce a lot of bricks at the moment now that I think about it. It's eight. This is for new world standards. It's pretty good actually. However, of course, it could be more. Um, in Marechal, or Marechal, or Marechal, uh, we do have six clay deposits available and we do have the workforce shared. So let's go ahead and have those the sexy bricks coming into uh, Manolo there with another production. By the way, let's make it like this. Um, and we boost that just further. I will, however, also will need, of course, a trade route. This is just like what we have in Crown Falls 2 with... Where do we have it? The island right in front of it. Quietus, right? That is just producing that. Now that I think about it, Quietus actually has a ruin over there. So we might we might just get some, some stuff over there and also build us some more cargo ships. Just a very good coincidence that we were close by in the area. Let's get back, continuing with um, this one here. So right between all these these farms that we have, right? You the have then our brick production popping up. As we have the next ones then just here. In the middle of nowhere, really. But my actual target is Martinez still. So in Martinez, uh, we do have the trade union down here where we can now equip some items. We do have Horticulturalist Herman. He is uh, boosting productivity for my um, plantations by uh, the by 20% and re reduces the amount of modules they need by 20%. So let's go ahead and use that because these um, coffee plantations are still a bit short on the fields, right? For some reasons, I haven't had the item for that. And Herman, there you go. And this now immediately rectifies the problem and we are actually now down to the 118 out of 118 that we've built them with, that we copied them over from Sohom. So this is finally working now. And of course, we do need way more coffee in the future. Oh, by the way, these we definitely should upgrade here. Um, and with that, Herman, it is working now much better. We also have built the trade union for the sugarcane already. Um, and I think we have something here, Pedologist. And uh, this guy is improving productivity by 15% and produces Cocoa um, occasionally. We do have a cocoa fertility here. Um, so this bonus is not really good, but it's still something. Also here, agriculturalist, sugarcane, another 12% boost. And then this one is, I think, not for the sugarcane though. No, it's not. So we are going to keep it like that for now. We are producing around, how's it looking there? Surplus of 16 now with uh, the boost. It's not really, it's a surplus of four only that we have. And of course, the thirst for rum is endless. And for that, I would like to start now with my first oil production in the new world. We can build this by finishing the of oil course. refinery finally in Martinez, us. right over there. And together with that, of course, also our first oil harbor. Now, we do need to... <laughs> We do need to get a train down here because down here we do have our next production then ready. That is the fuel production, right? So this one does require a train coming in and it will then produce fuel and those tractor barns will take the fuel from it and boost our sugar implantations with that. It already has the right amount of fields for it, blueprinted more or less, but it's still built of course, but not really utilized. And with the tractor, we are going to boost it by 100% for the sugar cane. So we are probably not going to run out of sugar cane for a while with just those fields fully boosted. Also, we do need then some electricity for those guys here. That's the coffee and the rum. Uh, what I can see though is we do lack some space in the middle there and of course it's amazing, I want to show this, the movement tool that we can now take. So I can take the whole bunch here, right? Uh, let's take it like that, I think this is the safest bet. And I can take it like that and we're just going to move it like two steps to the left, right? Like that. Boom, there it is and we have moved it. Previously, before the update, this was a real pain, but now it is so much better really. Let's go ahead and I think in this case here... Let's get the train rolling, right? So it's this one that goes then through. However, hmm, we might actually also consider a double track system for this. So once again, I would like to take it and move it then by just a, a few more inches. Let's make it two more, right? So this is still working. This is still working for everyone here that is attached to it. Of course, some road connections will need to be made over there. 
that are all still connected. The same goes with the lumberjack huts. That's fine. Now we can afford two tracks here because, of course, we're going to have uh, the the train going through for for the power station. The power station we're going to have, by the way, I have enough fuel beams. That's just so great to see. And I think it isn't Artistas, right? There it is. Electricity. Our new electricity power station. And this one, having it here, will boost the whole area, right? It doesn't have a, a, a road connection to the other side yet, so this might be lacking a bit for now, but that's it. Let's build the, the railway. This is an industrial zone, so I'm, I'm going to not do any, any wall system here. And then we have this double track system going all the way down to the fuel station. And the same here, just so that we can have several trains then on this, because don't forget, we will also need a train track then over here to our um, coffee plantations at some point. Right, so I think this is looking rather going. good now. Oh, thank you, Benta, 10,000 coin. I'll take everything I get. And with that, let's also build the fuel station in all its glory. And this one is now just requiring a bit of oil. The oil should be coming in then shortly. And with that, we do have then the fuel. Let's make the connection here to the power station. And let's make also then a road system all the way to the, the power station itself. All right. For some reasons, I cannot do the, the crossing here. Wanted to have a crossing there. Just want to have some paved roads there, but it doesn't let me build the paved roads. It's strange. We probably will need to do it like so. Yeah, this is now working. Oh, the the difficulties of the road system sometimes. With that, uh, let's also have this one here finished. So we have these these warehouses going to the other side. And the only thing now I need to do is the power station. So we do need to wait for a few more bricks to come in. But oil is more important first, and of course the sugar canes. And once this is rolling, we will then power up the coffee roasters. The rum distilleries, of course. And the rum distilleries are full, by the way. So we do have around 450 tons. So it is now perfect to get Ice Edge, the next cargo ship on it. There's only one ship on it at the moment, right? And Ice Edge is now also joining this trade route. The other ship should have already delivered rum by now to Crown Falls. There it is. 250 tons. It's not enough, though, right? So the demand is a pretty high. It was at 50. So it would be consumed within uh, five to six minutes. And that's the reason why I'm still going to wait a bit before I open it up and marvel at my 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 balance there. Trains already on the move. That also means that the tractor, the fuel station, has received the oil, and fuel is now being produced. And there it is. A glorious day once more to progress, as we can now finally boost this one. Of course, we are. I think yeah, we're full on sugar cane, so we cannot really use this for now. Tractor is on the way. Um, let's go ahead and build us some more rum distilleries. Because honestly, we, we still do need it, right? And... Oh, there is an empty road. Ship Move this down, and then we can have a bunch of them here as well. Like three more I would like to have. And in that case here, this will then bump up my, my sugar cane consumption, of course. But there it is. Just wanted to see it. My tractor bit rusty perhaps already. Must be a cheap version. Still working though. Let's keep a bit of a distance here just in case it explodes. We continue in Manola with a few more upgrades. I would like... Oh, wait a second. Yeah, I would like to continue with my um, Hacienda. So let's go ahead and up, uh, build the next blocks of Artista buildings here for the bit of uh, bricks that it costs me. And also these guys here. That will have to move. And then I can use two more here with a bit of a courtyard then in the background. This also contributes to my total of 4,000 artistas. With that, we'll unlock then the electrical power dam as well that we can build. Now with those guys, uh, we are running a bit short there on the bricks now. But one more block will still be fine. And then, of course, we also have the back of it. I might consider building as a bit of a park area then here behind my main building. Ship construct. Make it like so, right? So that we have something in between. And then, of course, we do have some more buildings like these obreros here in the back. Over there. And also over here then. And as we move a bit further outside, I would like to change then to Honoleros, right? So we can afford this. 
and they should they should be there for a reason and here we have then our farms so the further we get to the farms then the more honoraries will appear like these guys here these are the farmers after all down the road right a few more but because don't forget this is uh, already increasing my consumption then quite a bit and one more thing that i would like to do is here in the city center a bit more also a few more upgrades we should have enough resources left for that these guys here that's the marketplace uh we do have the first one here the other one is here yes they're actually far away there i might try it with some bricks bricks always work Oh, yes, and of course also a hospital should work as well. These guys and up here. The paved roads all the way down here. That's actually it. But with that, as we can see, yeah, for the most of them, these guys here now too. These guys still wait a bit, but at least a few more upgrades we can do. That one, that one, and this whole block here should be fine then as well. There it is. Coming up. Now I quickly like to check over to Crown Falls because in our um, main city, in our capital, we have a bit of a problem there right now that I've noticed. Of course, with all the upgrading to investors, the goods um, are increasing for that. Spectacles is a bit low now and also pocket watches is only equal. The same goes with uh, penny farthings. So we do need to proactively work here and just have a look at our total um, consumption, what we can do about this. We are already boosting the spectacle factories by fifth, uh, by for us, right? There is the, the trade union here. Do we have another boost available? Eh, nope, not really. We could boost it by workforce. We could also just go ahead and build us a few more. We have our power station here. So there is room for, for building a few more here, especially. Um, this we can definitely improve. There's still one more slot available, and we just need that one slot, right? So we can definitely go ahead and have the, the tracks actually starting here. Going all the way here to the mine then, right? And with that, also, we can get rid of this whole track system there, as we no longer need it. And only here do we make then the connection over there to the other side. With that, I can squeeze in. One more here. And is this also working? Ah, unfortunately, this is not really working. There is, by the way, our track system. One more. That is an accomplishment. The other problem we have anyway is the brass production. Now, we do get the zinc and the copper from Crown Falls primarily. We don't have enough, though, anymore, right? And with the brass, we have a total consumption that um, supersedes even if we fully produce the brass so two things we can do either we produce more brass or i completely substitute brass with the docklands i've done this before and it's working out really well we have steam motors for that we could also go with uh, sewing machines because i'm only using the sewing machines for grain right now we should have unlocked this brass by now there it is and we can use our sewing machines on that right the ratio would be one to five doesn't sound bad how many how much brass do we need really um, I think it is around 400. Let's make it 500 if I want to really make this work. 500 only, right? That is not a lot. We only need 100 tons of sewing machines every 20 minutes for that to work. And this would even be a surplus. We have a surplus production of 40. That means 800 sewing machines surplus right now per minute, uh, per, per cycle, right? So a lot. Let's actually push this to 600 because we can do this easily. And with that, uh, Tobias is coming in in 19 minutes. I will have to keep this online for a little bit longer. And then we can make this, right? Once all of this is all of this is said and done. Now Tobias is getting in a lot of products by now. We should definitely upgrade the loading wharf though. And let's 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 fill around there with our docklands a bit. We have the commute pier. The commute pier I would like to we could actually like to move it over here for now. Short. Right, and with that we have a bit of room there again. I don't need these towers there, nor do I need these flamethrowers really. I'm just going, to, I'm just going to keep them for my military score at the moment, and so oh, that's a tricky beast. Yeah, let's have it here for now, right? And with that we have a bit of space. Um, I also no, let's not move them for now. Right, let's rather have a key here that is going then all the way to that area. Right. 
and then we can start now moving those buildings around a bit make a proper bigger docklands area the th first thing i would like to do is i would like to move the depots away there from the the central area they can stay with those depots here right it's just fitting in much better with that we have another depot here there we have it it goes then all the way here to the the coastline i think there is another one here yeah that we cannot do but we can do it like that and as we can see we are reaching though now the boundaries of my of my docklands but i think that's it right no more depots here that's fine we can actually go ahead and build us a few more depots than here in this area Like so. So this is the end uh, going into the storage area. And then we have another one here where it's then going into the, the repair crane area. Might actually keep this like so. <laughs> I don't know. We'll just see if that turns out nicely then long term wise. Of course, we're only starting really to get the... To make a proper harbor area out of everything here, right? So the flame building there. Let's get the... Now nah, I will need to have the repair crane a bit further outside and the flamethrower then next to it perhaps. It doesn't really fit into a industrial harbor though, so I'm going to get it over there. That's better. And then we have more space here in the center. The loading wharfs, once again, we do want to have a few of them now. And we can have them here then, right? So they should definitely kind of like clash together there with the, the depots. And every one of them is boosting my, my loading times quite a bit. Also move the harbor master office over. I think this is looking now much better. Since we have now also this little area there in the center, right? With the that is using the items to boost and also my peers. And then we still have the loading wars, loading wars, and export offices. Export offices could be in their own area because they are just really administrative buildings, right? So we could have them over here, for example, a bit further in the back, perhaps also a bit further towards the city itself. I think that would make more sense. Connecting the Docklands then with our trade trade building then. Uh, what is that? So we have loading wharfs and export offices once more. The export offices I would like to have here. And the loading wharfs we can then also further move a bit further um, to the, the piers here that we have, right? I think this makes a bit more sense. However, this is not looking so great. This is once again where the flamethrower comes into into the area where I don't really like this. This is what I like. That is perfect. That That is just ending our, our pier area then. Right? And boom! How much more space we have all of a sudden for more Dockland modules. The first one I would like to use then as well is the two more um, expert offices to increase our trade storages that we have. And the other one would be of course still to continue also with some attack. loading wharfs. So we can go ahead and yeah, have here a bunch of them now. Let's make it four this will significantly speed it up to 11 tons of um, storage that can be transported now per second or transferred, right? Is this also affecting my peers? They're now at 16 tons. That would be interesting to know. Yeah, it is affecting them. Even if they're outside of the range, if I build the loading wharf here, it is still affecting my peers over there with the loading speed. Perfect. So I think I like how this whole area is shaping up. We have no ornaments here yet, so these are all functional buildings. But for now, we can definitely work with that. Um, let's have this area, and then let's just have a paved road that goes then into this area itself. All right. And here again. And then, of course, the connection with our trade port. Make this complete. And this one, of course, we still keep here because there's going to be a train network and stuff like that. Now, we've also wasted some time already, so 11 more minutes for Tobias, and I think we don't need to do that much more than here. Um, checking out the RAM, it's still at 250. There's not really coming in that much. Pocket watches, though, is a problem. And another thing, some of you have been pointing out, yes, this power plant, of course, could be made, uh, could be having a connection right away with my with my concrete plantation, uh, plantations, my concrete factories. And as we can see, all of them are now boosted except for this one here. And we just need to move it really a bit further over, right? And with that, we have now a fully boosted concrete production that is then doubling up. Right now it's at 18 and then it will be at 36 most likely once this is uh, fully rolling in. Yeah, and this one will need to have an upgrade as well. 
problem with the pocket watches is that we have, of course, Dario, the mechanical engineer that is outputting pocket watches in addition um, to the, the sewing machines. And we are full on sewing machines. So we're not really producing a lot of that right now. And that also drags down my pocket watches. So I might need to find new ways of wasting my sewing machines as we have quite the overproduction for that. I'm already doing this now with the breasts. Now, theoretically, consumption and production would be on par right now. So eight pocket watches uh, produced passively are needed for eight demand. Um, so once the sewing machines are capped again at their production, of course, this should even out. However, I would like to have a, a smaller surplus because we are going to expand, of course, more. So what I could do is I could start also importing some pocket watches here. Let's do this by... I'm just really doing this now to dump some 100 tons of sewing machines also into pocket watches, right? And this is already quite a lot of, of pocket watches that we have we could then also change this around to to gold for example to produce jewelry here as well i would like to check some other things because perhaps we might be able to unlock a few more um products that we don't have yet export import here to unlock the gold or very good this might be something and the light bulbs is also just export and import oh we could also unlock the caoutchouc but nah it's really not important Let's stick with this for now, dump some sewing machines, get the pocket watches stable, because this is already going to do a lot for my income. Now we have enough rum in, 800 tons it is. Let's unlock the rum again for my artisans, we're at 52,000 right now. And with the engineers and artisans now receiving their proper share again of rum, not only do we boost our happiness with that, but also our income and there it's starting to climb now. All right, also here there's some explosions. And by the way, my worker workforce, my workforce in general is not looking so dandy. Um, we do have some ruins here. However, I do have my hospital. We might need to move this a bit and just copy it and take us another one over there somewhere then. Or those plagues. And how is it looking in Shodix? Shodix is looking totally fine, except that it might having an, have an impending takeover that... I'm going to prohibit with purchasing another share. Or fend off, I should say. Now with that, 63. And by the way, there's another thing I would like to start now in Crown Falls as well. That is my first monument, so the Town Hall monument, right? It's probably going to be somewhere here then in the center for starters for the construction. Let's just place it anywhere, really. We can still move it then. Ship Back in Malola, I would like to do two more things. First of all is, of course... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, once again, a plague, unfortunately. Let's just have a look here. I think let's get rid of those houses and move the fire station a bit and just get us another hospital then for uh, this whole district there. That would be one thing. And the other thing is, of course, upgrading more. Uh, we do have a few more obreros that I can upgrade here in the center um, to make artistas out of that. And we really should be not that far away anymore from the quest there. 3,800, yeah? As we're moving closer, we also have a lot of Honoleros, and with that means I can just go crazy with some more Obra upgrades here and here. Boy, that's really, it's really going to be a big city, that one here. Of course, as with Koran Falls, this is just the standard layout that we're using and pushing buildings then on top of it later on to make it more diverse. And we'll just see how that turns out. That is running, and there is still another thing that uh, we should start with a foundation now. And that is the aluminum production. We don't have this yet. And it's pretty important because I would like to start with airships then as well at some point. Now since we have a bit of time to finally manage all of these things for the airships. We will need helium and we do need the, uh, the aluminum. And the aluminum needs the bauxite deposits. We have that in Manola. That is pretty cool. And we would have it over there already. The only thing I don't have in Manola is coal really. Um, we don't have any coal mines. I think there are no coal mines though right so charcoal kilns are the only thing at the moment that would give us the coal that we need um in that case we don't need that many of them right so let's go ahead and have us one uh bauxite mine in a remote location please this one should be a bauxite mine there you go right and with that we by the way also start now the other quest that we have still up here so the aluminium and preparing our airships ultimately Let's have then another warehouse close by, since that is producing every 10 seconds, it should have one close to it, right next to it, in fact. Um, and then we want to have the aluminum smelters, however, one charcoal kiln can already support three of them. Let's start with six of them, that means I do need two of these charcoal burners. Now, for now, I'm going to use the charcoal burners themselves, later on we are going to import coal then just from somewhere else, really. 
Uh, boy, where do we have the space for them? Yeah, here, right? There's one with 100%, and then we got another one with 100% just here, delivering the cold. And let's also upgrade that warehouse here, as this will be important. Now, that is already six aluminum smelters. Let's have this one in the industrial zone right over there. And yeah, probably here we can easily squeeze in some six of them. We will double this to 12 most likely at some point. Right now, right now though, I think we should be fine with that. Let's have the, the fire station also close by, build a second warehouse. And yeah, that's actually it. We can, we can go crazy now. Let's build all six of them. And with that, another production is starting up now. Ooh, this adds a bit of un unhappiness here. I also, unattractiveness, right? So we might have to to jiggle, jiggle around with that at some point. For now, though, it's fine. And with that, we open up the next uh, chapter of Manola then. Stay tuned. <laughs>